also happy to say that arm wrestling now is a proud member of the Association of Africa Sports Confederations. And on that note, I want to thank the World Arm Wrestling Federation for the support they gave us. Within the same year, there's a popular continental event in South Africa called the Arnold Classic. Through my Secretary General, Arm Wrestling Federation of Africa have signed up and every year we will play arm wrestling at the Arnold Classic. I am also happy to announce that Africa is the first continent to develop its own scoring software apart from what we use at the world. And this is done in Ghana here. I have said that I will use Ghana to develop Africa and to some extent to support the world. This is just the beginning. I am happy for all the pullers who have come here today and I hope that even though my heart is in Ghana, the best team must win. Before I take my seat, I want to reiterate that this championship is a selection or a qualification for the 2023 Africa Games which will be held in March next year and it is the reason for which every athlete must work so hard. I am also happy to announce that this year Africa will participate in the World Combat Games and this event will select 10 athletes, 4 female, 6 male to represent Africa and I am sure that the selection will be fair because you all are going to compete. On behalf of the African Arm Wrestling Federation, on behalf of the leadership of Ghana Arm Wrestling Federation, and on behalf of the Ghana Olympic Committee and everybody here, I welcome the rest of Africa to Ghana. And all I can say is that I will use you to push for Africa Arm Wrestling to become better. I thank all of you for listening. Thank you. A round of applause once again for the vision bearer, president of World Arm Wrestling, African Arm Wrestling, vice president of the world. Thank you very much, my ABLE supporters group. And I say thank you very much to the President of Ghana Arm Wrestling, President of African Arm Wrestling, and Vice President of World Arm Wrestling, Charles Osei Sibay. My next speaker needs no introduction. His name sometimes sends fears down the spine of indisciplined people. He is on a mission to restore discipline in the city of Accra. I call him Action Regional Minister. He needs no introduction. Help me introduce Honorable Henry Corti.
Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Hey, you are done. Hey, you are done. Was the chairman, the president, World Arm Wrestling Federation, the secretary, World Arm Wrestling Federation, the president and members of the Ghana Arm Wrestling Federation. Participants from sister African countries, our special guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, friends from the media, all protocol duly observed. It is an honor and a privilege for me to join you at the opening ceremony of the 12 African Arm Wrestling Championship particularly happy for the invitation and wish to commend Mr. Asibe and his team for putting together this spectacular event. First of all, may I, on behalf of the Regional Coordinating Council and on my own behalf, warmly welcome presidents and officials from the World Arm Wrestling Federation to the city of Accra and hope you are enjoying your stay here as a president. I hope you will take some time off your busy schedule to visit some interesting sights and sounds of our beautiful capital city. Permit me to also extend Warmest congratulations to the Ghana Arm Wrestling Federation for accepting the challenge to host this competition in the face of numerous difficulties. Indeed, you have proven that by your exploits, you can do more when given the needed support and motivation. As a chairman, I'd like to use this opportunity to acknowledge with a deep sense of gratitude efforts by the, Ghana, by the World Arm Wrestling Federation and the Ghana Arm Wrestling Federation in building sportsmanship amongst our youth by unearthing talents and strengthening the friendships. The interest in impacting the development of arm wrestling in Ghana and Africa as a whole indeed complements the vision of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Kwado, to ensure the development of sports, which undeniably is a stepping stone in stimulating youth to appreciate nationhood and patriotism. Ladies and gentlemen, I am reliably informed that participants have been drawn from the various African countries to participate in this event. Let us use this event to strengthen the bond of friendship, belongingness, understanding and mutual respect among the youth of our dear countries and more importantly to further enhance and deepen mutual understanding, coexistence, and cooperation between African countries. Admittedly, there are several ways by which we can unite as a people. However, the use of sports to unite people cannot be overemphasized. Just like the former UN Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon once said, quote, sports has become a world language, a common denominator that breaks down all the walls, all the barriers. It is a worldwide industry whose practices can have a widespread impact. Most of all, it is a powerful tool for progress and development, unquote. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, it is an undeniable fact that lately 
arm wrestling is gradually gaining the kind of recognition that it deserves considering the zeal with which the youth sports arm wrestling with with which the youth sports supports arm wrestling sorry you would agree with me that in the past we concentrated on a few sports disciplines even though the youth had a lot of potentials in sports like arm wrestling like arm wrestling sorry indeed this is a competitive sport and it's a fun game even though we have the opportunity to fraternize make friends and network with each other we should therefore put in a lot of interest energy enthusiasm and above all sportsmanship at this juncture may i take the, this opportunity to appeal to the compet competing teams to compete fairly let me repeat this part i take the opportunity to appeal to the competing teams who represent various countries to compete fairly, exhibit sportsmanship, so that at the end of the day, the best and only the best will emerge victorious. The officiating officials also have a crucial role to play in the success of this event. And our expectation is that you exhibit impartiality, avoid bias in favor of any individual, so that we do not destroy or undermine the objective and beauty of the event. We must all see this competition as a good platform to promote the image of the sports. On this note, it is my pleasure to declare the 12th African Arm Wrestling Competition officially opened. And I thank you very much for your kind attention, and may God bless us all. Uh, Mr. President, permit me, Mr. President, and all gathered here, permit me with the greatest of respect to uh, take leave of you, because I have other equally important national assignments to attend to. But by all means, my meal is here, and Accra will give you all the reception that you need and please remember to enjoy our local dishes fufu banku and uh, don't let them call it fish it's called kena <laughs> fish it's called kena so they will teach you i thank you very much god bless us all a round of applause for our regional minister but even before the original minister leaves us, we would like to take we would like to take the national anthem briefly. No, please, please, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We would like to take the national anthem before our regional minister takes leave of us. Please be upstanding as Michaela Ekwako gives us the national anthem of Ghana. Thank you very much. God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make our nation great and strong, bold to defend forever the cause of freedom and of Fill our hearts with true humility, make us cherish fearless honesty, and help us to resist a presence rule with all our will and might forevermore
a beautiful rendition of the national anthem and it is good that everybody was upstanding it is good that everyone was upstanding the regional minister is here and you know what that means please thank you very much take your seats and let's enjoy the 12th edition of the african arm wrestling championship we have a performance coming up from someone i have uh, we have respect for he is multi-talented, he can act, he can sing, and he can perform as well. Please help me welcome Kobe Rana. Even though uh, we will have a performance, I mean the regional minister is taking leave of us. Kobe. You know, I've been dying to see your performance today. So if you are ready, we are ready for you. All right, please help me take the stage off so that we enjoy the very talented Kobe Rana. Please, a round of applause for the actor, musician, Kobe Rana. Hello, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Ghana. In Ghana, our way of saying welcome is Akwaba. So Akwaba to all the countries and we hope you enjoy your stay. Magic. Feel the magic. Now let's take it to the street. Next level. Fire, fire, DJ, huh. 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 DJ
No be break down. Break up, no be break down. Break up, no be break down. You know be break down. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a show? Fire, 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 them. I need you to sing with me. Ladies, are you ready to sing for your ex now? All right, let's go. Thank you. Thank you to my ex. It's not about the sex, but the breakup was the best. Thank you. Now I'm stronger. Now I'm wiser. Now I'm happier. I found someone better. Thank you to my ex. doing it for the last time for that one who broke your heart are you ready thank you thank you to my ex it's not about the sex but the breakup was the best now i'm stronger now i'm wiser now i'm happier thank you to my ex i Baby, baby. 
let's throw back. Throw back. Can we throw back? Masharita. Yeah. Chocolita. Hey. Chocolita. Bonita. Masharita. Someone at Come on, make some noise! It's a brand new one, Banga. Young Quick. What's now? Talk. Reach fast. Chop. You make a shock. When I call me, catch it up. Pump me and Kakanamenko. Why you forgot to me? Shall I be called? Broken heart, you go reach everybody. Body. And found the open mouth. Poggy. Poggy. Got it. Shut it. Stop it. I gave you everything for my money, money, hey, money to mess up. Billy, 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 Thank you, we love you. Thank you. Thank you, I'm Wrestling Africa. We love you. My name is Kobe Rana. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kobe Rana, for that explosive performance. Thank you very much. Yes, we are done with the performances. Very soon the pullers will come up on upstage for us to start the com competition. But President, please, if you can come and acknowledge our sponsors, I'll be very grateful. So please, let us you know, acknowledge our sponsors so we get into the competition proper. One, two. So, we're here to do something simple. Sound, can you please work on the sound for us? Now, for every participant, Benin, Cameroon, Congo DR, down to Ghana, 
one of my proud partners has asked me to give you something special. So athletes from all over Africa, you will not go home empty handed. So first of all, from Kofi Chrome Pharmacy, everyone is going to get a bottle of K-Balm and a bottle of hand sanitizer or rubbing alcohol. From Samsung, I know you, are, you want to know what is coming. So from Samsung, all the 164 athletes, each of you will go home with an electronic water bottle beautifully designed. So my ushers will go around my ushers will go around and let you have this. Now for the youth athletes, every youth medalist will also go home with a backpack from Samsung. Now from Gando Cosmetics Every winner will also go home with something from Gandor Cosmetics. I want to appreciate Alisa Hotel, Adamus Resources, Stambeck Bank, Kofi Chrome Pharmacy, Jata Cement, Ghana Gas, and National Health Insurance Authority for the great support they have given us. Now, for my LOC members, a number of them from their own pockets supported this event to which I am grateful. The mayor of Accra says that tomorrow evening she is going to host all of you here in Accra at her office. Are we not happy? So we are continuing with the championship Play safe and have fun. Thank you very much.
Hay de cambio. is currently the best arm wrestler in the world and he hails from the United States of America and indeed he had to defeat the likes of Denis Saplenkov who hails also hails from America you're still alive here. We are remains. Ah, uh, the not for here in Accra. Africa Arm Wrestling Championship. Already, Ghana has won a gold medal in the disabled certain event. Kahiru, the man who won Ghana its first medal by defeating his opponent from Madagascar. And so, as it stands now in the disabled 80 kilogram event Ghana so far has won a gold medal that is the story here at the NACPO where the 12th Africa arm wrestling championship is happening Ghana plays third in the last edition in Nigeria where they came home with quite a number of medals. Talk of gold medals, we had 31 from Nigeria, silver 32 and bronze 25. So a lot is expected from the bullets from Ghana. They would need to up their game if they are to embark on the foot and win project. But certainly they will face fair competition from other bullets from other African countries. Nigeria, the defending champions are here. Already we've seen the likes of Blessing who was given a good one for her money by Mariam Kadiri from Ghana in the ladies category that is the 55 kilogram which was contested earlier here at the Nightfall and any moment from now the bullets are getting themselves ready to mount the stage to compete in the 12th edition of the Africa Arm Wrestling Championship happening live on GH1 television. We are coming to you from the Nat 4. The fans are here in their numbers. The supporters union singing and chanting as the me. Ghanaian bullet on to victory. I have been joined by a colleague of mine and I'm also trying to speak to some technical handlers of Tim Ghana who also double as a technical head on the African continent to also give us his view so far, Ghana registered 70 bullets 
across all categories and that okay. is the highest by okay. any country so far. Please just go man, please just go man. So we have the uh, left final. Left hand. Number one. Final remains. The final three match. Otokuno between Otokuno Bano and Abubakar Sambali. Sambali from Mali. They will take their turn to compete in the final. It was a fault against the Malian. So they are back to compete on table one. Table. Who gets the win? The U70 kilogram left. Final. Today we are doing only the left hand. And tomorrow we are back on the right hand. So Otokono against Abubakar. Ghana against Mali. Oh, so Benghazi. I mean, you, you just came in and watching these it two coolers on the table. Know, it's it's the the Malian, they are know, very, know, very know, strong know, side. Know, strong grip. He has some very strong arms in there and was clearly pushing his kind of opponent down. So, to corner Bano Thomas. But of course, they have to come in, and so let's see how this one will go. On table two as well, it looks as though Chaka, uh, together with Amali Silla from Guinea, yeah. are going at it. But back, back to the Ghanaian, it's a tight grip, obviously, with how it's going currently. Well, so, uh, on table two, Chaka Sogodogo uh, from Mali and Amara Silla from Guinea are also battling it out. Now, in, uh, on table one, the match officials they have called for both coolers and their hands will be tied yeah. because of what happened earlier so what it means is that any fault that comes from any of the coolers is a defeat absolutely and you saw that when they were at it their hands seems to have split off each other and so the referee has called for the strap uh, to be used as strap is the they are to bind the two hands together so they don't slip and so that's what they are doing right now to bind the two pairs of hands together so the strap being used there by the referees to ensure that the grip will be strong and there won't be any slip this time around so Thomas Bano Tukono of Ghana and Aubaka Samabali of uh, Mali really going at each other with this particular round so on the other table the Malian was able to defeat the Kenyan and I, I mean, I said it earlier, when you go to Mali, this sport is just like football. People pay money. They pay money to go and watch. Absolutely. It's a big game out there. So they are a force to They are. And he indeed looks as though he's pulled the Ghanaian down. But I don't know what it is. The officials, officials will declare, obviously. So the, the Malian, Malian has, has won. won it. Yes, the Malian has won. Very, very strong arms. Very, very, and I mean, proud to this encounter, Samabali, he has been very phenomenal in all the battles he's gone on the table. And so, uh, I, I think that the Malians, they are a very great force. So far, so good for them. But we are yet to see, I mean, in the other categories or divisions, we've seen some of the juniors taking to the table especially the women and uh, ghana and nigeria had to battle it out um in uh, ghana nigeria jollof uh, battle <laughs> and indeed uh mariam kadiri who is a Ghanaian, too tall she came out victorious so quite a number of great battles to witness here at the nafo uh, absolutely and it's great to see the chair or the CEO, if you like, of the NSA in attendance, Professor Chumasi, in attendance to witness what is happening here at the NAT Hall. Great sports it is, not very popular, but now gaining roots in Ghana. 
I don't know when you were young. I mean, it was a game we used to play yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the days. It was a game we used to play in schools. <laughs> I recall back, you know, in senior high school, then we were of SSS. Okay. In our school, St. John's Grammar, we occasionally had, you know, some of our colleagues try their hands on this with us. And it was good. It was good. So it's good to see it now at this level where there's not a major sport that in the Ghana is partaking as well. And we've brought the whole of Africa to Ghana for this game. So it's good. It's very, very good. We are seeing this, and the atmosphere here at the Nath Hall is very charged, and I'm very impressed with the attendance we have here at the Nath Hall. With all the nations that are here in their numbers, the Ghanaians are here as well with their fans trooping in to support the Ghanaian team, who are holding their own pretty much against the rest of Africa who are here for this, for this game. So, very, very impressive with how things have been done here at the Nath Hall. Very great game, obviously. Perhaps one day I'll try my hands on with you, perhaps, yeah. to see who gets to win <laughs> in the Australia Championship. But it's been good so far, what I've seen since I, since I got in here. I mean, but all the countries that are here in Ghana, you look at the Egyptians, and they did not present quite a number of athletes, but from their, their previous achievements, they are indeed a great team that is the Egyptian team and currently we have seen that one of their one of their athletes has mounted the stage on table two that is Egypt and he is up against a Ghanaian so it's Ghana against Egypt on table two here at the Nassau it's all about the 12th Arm Wrestling Africa Championship currently ongoing here at the NAFO. So, indeed, as it is currently on your screens now, we have the Egyptian in action against the Ghanaian on table two. And the Egyptian has won it. That was a very fast one, very quick one. A simple straight win for the Egyptian. He looked so slim. I'm surprised he's managed to get this one over the Ghanaian. Yes, I, I said it earlier. You know, the Egyptians, when, when you, you, you trace them, when you check their, their records, I mean, you, you need to be okay. very focused when you are with them on the table because when the referee signals go and you don't take care, you, you are not fully focused, you are, you are done. And that is exactly what they did to the Ghanaian. So clearly, Going forward, I think the technical team for Team Ghana will do well to talk to their fullest on what to do, especially staying focused on the table because the Egyptians they brought 10 fullest 10 and trust me, they will not go away from Ghana without not less than 20 goals. Absolutely, and it was obvious in how he went about it, it was so easy, so simple, and so fast with how he managed to win over the gun and so now he on up. table so two he goes up against he goes the Malian. In again against the Mali and let's see how it goes on table two so the grip been done by the referee to get the two guys to go at it very firm grips and very again look at the Malian very strong mus muscular arms but no under it's the Egyptian doesn't have so much muscles on the arm but looks like he's a very strong guy obviously I mean this this I mean when it comes to this sport you don't need to be that bulky that muscular I mean it's all about your your techniques your skills and how swift you are on the table and Absolutely. that is exactly what the egyptians are using to their advantage and there it is they go in there and it looks as though there was a lean so the referee what is the decision they have to go at it again mm. there was a bit of a lean yeah. from the malian so the referee will caution them yeah the grip has to be that firm and the shoulders in and not out yeah make sure you don't take advantage of, of your opponent so let's see how this will go they go again on table two it's mali versus egypt the very masculine malian and then they're not too masculine egyptian so abdul rahman yusuf against um chaka sogodogo mm. egypt and mali in that battle on table two chaka now, 
mm. on table one. We have the women yes. coming in now on table one. The Ghanaian, yes, um, Dora um, Kesewa, and another Ghanaian, Florence Mensa. So it's Ghana versus Ghana, yes. obviously, for and the women. For the women, I can confidently tell you that Ghana will do very well mm. by winning more gold medals. Let's see how this one will go. On table one, it looks as though uh, Florence, sorry, Dora Kesewa has won it. That was so easy, swift. Easy done. <laughs> That was very swift from Dora Kesua winning over Florence Mensa, both are Ghanaians anyway. But back to table two for the men. Yes, that is Abdul uh, Abdel Rahman Yusuf from Egypt. And his Malian go again. And the Malian has won. The Malian has won. The Malian has won. And that is um, Sogodogo. That was very fast as well. Very fast. I think the Egyptian the lost concentration. And very masculine. Yeah, he was out. He couldn't redeem himself. So after winning over the Ghanaian, he could not win over the Malian. The might of the Malian. <laughs> Look at him, just walking in front of us. <laughs> He's got the well muscles. Built. Well built. Very tall and huge muscles. It, it, it tells in, um, you they don't joke with their willy. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> An amazing one, an Egyptian team having a, a few words with their yes, so the, another the competitor who is going to be coming in. Getting pep talk from the technical handlers of the Egyptian team. And it, it is quite interesting, Ben. I mean, I, I would love to see the Ghana women's team against their opponent from Nigeria. We saw, we witnessed one. one earlier, and it was full of fireworks. It will be an interesting one to see, you know, whenever Ghana battles Nigeria, mm. there are so much that goes into it, so many sentiments. Tension. Sentiments are in there from all manner of quarters, and they are brothers. We are brothers, obviously, <laughs> but it's always interesting to see us go at each other in a competition, mm. in a healthy way, though. So let's see if uh, we will see more of the Ghanaian ladies in action against the Nigerian ladies who are here in their numbers. But great so far with the competition, that's the Africa Arm Wrestling Championship being held in Accra this year. And so far it's been very wonderful with all the nations who are here competing. So on table two, we are going to have another Ghanaian compete. And the women are, going, are coming back as well. On table two now, it's Ghana versus. So it looks as though Guinea. So, so on table two is a men, Ghana versus Guinea. Ghana, Guinea. Amara yeah. Silla of Guinea against Nathaniel Aje of Ghana on table two. So let's get into table two as you can see on your screens now. It is Silla versus Aje of Ghana and. Ghanaian has, has won. That was another swift one. I think I think gradually Ghana is beginning to show I mean the stuff they are made of when it comes to the left hand because quite interestingly we are not that good when it With comes our to left. the left mm. hand but it's it now they are picking up gradually and that was the youth eighty kilogram. Okay. Now to the woman on table one. Again, Ghana v Ghana. Florence Mensa, no match for Dora, Dora. Kasua, a real match. Let's see how it goes. Dora Mensa. Again. No match. Florence Mensa again wins it. Now, now, now for, for Dora, um, if you care to know, what, well, um, viewers care to know, she is with the immigration. Okay. And this is her second Afghan. In arm wrestling. The last time she represented Ghana in Nigeria, she was a gold medalist. Wow. So clearly, all hopes are being banged in her to retain her gold medal in that division. So back to table two for the men. Again, Abdul Rahman Yusuf is back to take on Ghana's Ataniel J on table two. Let's see how it goes. Abdul Rahman. 
versus Nats Ajay of Ghana on Cable 2. His African arm wrestling competition or championship held in Ghana. And Yusuf of Egypt versus Ajay of Ghana. Who gets to win this on Table 2 on your screens? And a break. A break for them to come back at it. A little break for the competitors to take a breather and come back. So they are back. Yusuf of Egypt taking on AJ of Ghana. Left arm. Let's see how it goes. The grip being worked on by the referees. The grip being worked on by the referees. And on table one, we're going to have another competition in no time. So gradually we are moving into the heavy or the big division. Because so both tables are active. Our focus now on table two. But another Ghanaian is on the table one. We'll see about that as well. But on table two is Yusuf of Egypt, which is Ajay of Ghana. And on table one, um, is that a victory? Yes, a victory for table one. That's Sierra Leone's Alfred Corker has won over Ghana. David Asari. And he's from Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, the muscles. Yes. Fairly showing. So he is one from is Sierra Leone. Kilogram. Yeah. Alfred Corker winning over David Asari of Ghana. On table two, Yusuf V. Ajay. Now, for Ajay, Nathaniel Ajay, he is a product of the HD Plus Kids Arm Wrestling event. From Ghana. Again, a break. Another break. <laughs> With a grip. Let's see how it goes on table two. Ajay and Yusuf. Meanwhile, David. Boy. Fernand Boy, sorry, is going to take on David Bantan, both Ghanaians. In a master 80 kg left arm on table one, Bantang David of Ghana and Bernard Boy also of Ghana is a master 80 kg left arm. We are waiting for David or Bernard Boy rather to join. But on table two, the grip is still being worked on by the referees for the battle between Yusuf and Nat Ajay of Ghana. Yusuf is from Egypt. Well, so he has won the tie because his opponent failed to show up. So a walkover, a walkover for David, David Bantan. And on table one, it looks as though Yusuf has won over the Ghanaian on table two. Yes, Yusuf. After Rahman Yusuf has won over the Ajay. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's quite surprising because Ajay, in that division, he was a national champion. Um, that, that is, a, yes, the Greater Accra champion when the HD Plus Kit Arm Wrestling event was held at this same venue. Okay. And many would have thought that he would have given the Egyptian a good run for his money. Obviously, he met a stronger opponent in the Egyptian. Abdul Rahman Yusuf. Muscles. No muscles, absolutely. But he knows what he's about. Yeah. He knows what he is about, and he is a very strong competitor here. Abdul Rahman Yusuf. So winning over Nat Ajay of Ghana to progress. We are still waiting now for the battle on table one. I see David Bantang back with the officials. I guess they are still waiting for Bernard boy to turn up for their competition but because earlier they they had given him a walk over because his opponent that is bernard boy failed to show up and so it means that both rounds he has been given the walk over 
and he has been told to wait that is uh david bantang so that's a replay of the win for abdul rahman yourself how he won over david aj nathan aj sorry of ghana we we need to i mean that is team ghana the police will need to up their game on your screens now the egyptian team and their coaches and behind them the malians you, you, you look at the egyptian these are well built men very much they are just 10 in number well built guys some of the Ghanaian fans not looking too excited i love how the mass officials are well kitted in their kits the officials referees, well well dressed in their kits yeah. So we have the Sierra Leonean back on table one. Alfred Parker this time around to take on a competitor from Cameroon in Vivian Mbida Bienvenue. So Vivian Bienvenue of Cameroon taking on Parker Alfred of Sierra Leone on table one. And let's see how this one will go on table one. The great being worked two, on by the final. referees. Two, it's a final. Let's see how this would go on table one. And there we go. Looks as though tight one. Coca working it out, trying to get a win over Bienvenue. Can he do it? Yes, he has. Coca wins it. Alfred Corker wins it from Sierra Leone over Bienvenue of Cameroon. It's Corker Alfred guy. Is, uh -huh. is great. I mean, really a great. It's not just about the muscles, though. Yes, he is a great Bienvenue has some great he's muscles. Got the techniques. Yeah. You see how he was able to, I mean, bring his opponent down, the Cameroonian down, with that technique. Because that was sharp. It, it, it is quite. That was sharp. Number one. Very sharp. Very sharp. You see, a re a replay. that's a replay again. Yes, the Cameroonian had wanted to give him a good run for his money, but he kept on using his strength and technique. And look at how he, he sent his, his opponent to the table. He needed to pause at a point in time gather enough strength in his left arm and before the Cameroonian could come back he was no so to back found. on table two it's uh, again our good friend Abdurrahman Yusef in action against Saka Sodogodo <laughs> it's a final in the 80 kg left arm and a win there straight up Winner. for the Malian so the Egyptian Abdul Rahman Yusuf is complaining bitterly. Yeah. But, yes. Sogo Togo has won it. On your screens now, watch it. Yeah. Not too clear, but it's been awarded the Malian. The Malian. He is the, complaining bitterly. Yeah, he is complaining. He is not too clear on why. He's an awarded the Mali and Saka. So good, good. Yeah. He's calling enforcement. Right, so clearly, I, I don't know what exactly he is complaining about, but I mean, on, on table two, the Masters Plus 100 kilogram left Number semi-final. One. It's also about Hassan to be witnessed. Yakuba. Soko from Senegal up against Maka Ndiaye also from Senegal. On your screens currently we still have Yusuf complaining and there's a replay of the matchup between Sodogodo and Yusuf. Let's see how it went. Oh, you saw it? Okay, so he is making or raising a complaint because he's complaining because he felt the time the referee gave the, the nod for them to go. So on your screens now is Korka the Australian against the Bantan the Ghanaian. 
Bantan and Koka. Uh, Koka, what is it? Referee is coming again. Koka has won it. Yes. From Sierra Leone. Very strong lad. Very strong. And you see, the sort of technique he's using, I, I, I don't know, it's really working to perfection for him. He, he, when he sees that you, you want to give him no battle by holding on midway on the table, they then tend to have a way of going around it to make sure he, he, he gets a win. And that yeah. is really, really remarkable from the Sierra Leonean. A remarkable one from the Sierra Leonean. On the screens are the officials and the competitors from Egypt. Back on the stage now. The two big men are there. It is Vivian Mbida versus Asari David of Ghana. In the master 80 kg left arm. So Asari versus Vivian Mbida of Cameroon on table one. Who gets to win? And the grip will be worked on by the referees. Tight grip. There we go. Vivian pulling the Ghanaian. Vivian pulling David Asari. And a win obviously for the Cameroonian in Vivian Mbida. Very strong muscles. He's won it over David Asari of Ghana. So David has lost twice within the space of about seven minutes or so. This is the second battle in the left arm division on the table. And uh, as I said, they will need to lift up their game. But I mean, you can't, you can't also begrudge them. They are coming up against quite good opponents. Absolutely. And a replay on your screens now. David Asari could not stand the might of Vivian Imbida. The replay on your screens now. Very, very strong work. Look at the muscles of Vivian. Concentration and getting the win eventually. There, 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 there are quite a number of foods they don't even eat when preparing for such tournaments or events absolutely and it is quite amazing i mean your arm is what you use to work when it comes to arm wrestling <laughs> so again on table one we have Bernard Bantan of Ghanaian the Ghanaian again taking on Vivian Impida so let's all rest for Vivian mm. back at it again left arm 80 kg <laughs> semi-final it is let's see semi-final Bantan versus Imbida of Cameroon. The grip, the grip being worked on by the referees. Very firm grip. The shoulders in action. <laughs> Bang Tan David of Ghana versus uh, Vivian Imbida of Cameroon. Let's see how this will go. A big battle of just the battle of muscles. Some great shoulders and grip. The arms of uh, the Ghanaian seem to be a bit slippery. So he's cleaning the arm a bit to ensure that grip will be very firm. A word to Vivian Mbida of Cameroon. So close to 20 African countries are currently present here in Accra, the Natal to be precise, and it's all about the 12th African American Championship live on GH1 television. Uh, already, as I indicated to viewers earlier, Ghana has won a gold medal in the disabled sitting 80 kilogram event after Tahiru. And we are underway now. It's Bantan versus uh, Vivian. Power at play. Power at play. Muscle power between the two men. Bantan and Vivian. See the grip. Ah, the hands will slip. The hands will slip. And so they'll go again. This is where the two are equally matched. Charlie, this is absolutely incredible. Now, strength 
at display on the table. It is no child's play. If you don't have a hat, just don't mount the platform to even put your hand on the table. So, the ref again, very well done by the referee. You have colleagues of Bantan coaching him from the highlights. <laughs> Back up stage, Bantan of Ghana versus Vivian. They go again. And Bantan seems to be pulling down. A win, it's a win for Ghana. Bantan and Ghana. It's a win for Ghana. David Bantan has won this. It's a great win for Ghana. Bantan David. He won it over Vivian of uh, Cameroon. So, final. Table one. Table one. Afre Soccer. Bantan David. So, a final now. Final. final. It's a, a final now. Alfred Corker. Bantan David from Your Bantan man. Bantan your man. man. <laughs> yes. Bantan. Again, against our good man, Coca Alfred of Sierra Leone. They go again, and again, it's the left arm. No rest for David Bantan of Ghana. He has to go back again to compete against. And that, that, that is, I mean, it's all about the beauty of the sport or the game. You need to show the stuff you are made of. Even after just winning a battle, you need to go into another battle. Mm. So we'll Without see how rest. this will go. Alfred Corker versus David Bangtan of Ghana. And Corker has yeah. won it. Yeah. Very simple. <laughs> he has won. Of this category, Master so he has won the category in this. Gold for Sierra Leone. Gold for Sierra Leone. Alfred Corker win the final. And so gold there for Alfred Corker of Sierra Leone Great over Ghana. There. David Bantan. So that is Alfred Coca. The Serenonian making sure so that he wins the eighty kilogram left hand masters. Uh, Alfred Corker. Interestingly, he is a lone ranger from Sierra Leone. From Sierra Leone. <laughs> he, he, the one man team. Yes, he came all the way from Sierra Leone. And indeed, he has shown his prowess on the table. And he has indeed made history for Sierra Leone by winning the Masters 80 kilogram. Left hand. We are still live on J1 TV. And it's all about our coverage of the 12th Africa Arm Wrestling Championship, currently ongoing here at the NACO. So, Koka winning the. Masters 80 kilogram and he is from Sierra Leone. Congratulations, congratulations, Coca. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For all the games.